I'm so stupid. Hey guys, it's Jack Jack and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am doing a very requested video from you guys, which is a first impression review on the Beauty Bakery goodies that I featured in my huge Ulta haul. If you missed that video, I will leave it linked in the cards for you guys, but I picked up some goodies and then I also ordered additional goodies online so that I could do a full face. Well, full like face face, not, not eyes or lips included, just like face. Um, with Beauty Bakery. So that's what this video is going to be. I'm really, really excited. The packaging is just like so freaking adorable. Everything looks like baked goods or like cooking things and I'm just so excited. And yeah, this is a cruelty-free and vegan line that you can find at Ulta, at Select Ulta's. They're not at every Ulta, but Select Ulta's and then beautybakery.com. So if you're interested in hearing my first impression on the goodies that I have, then just keep on watching. But of course, before we jump into the video, make sure you hit that red subscribe button and the little bell so that way you are notified of future videos and you officially become part of the Little Flower family. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and jump on into the video. If you missed my most recent hairstyling video, then you probably missed like these little head wraps that I have been doing with my scarves. And it's because my hair is just getting a little awkward looking right now. I am growing out my hair, as you guys know, and it's just like right now it's just so spiky and pokey and it's just like my hair is growing pretty fast, which I'm happy about, but it's like... It's not a cute look right now, so I'm just going to be covering it for a little bit if you guys don't mind. And if you want to find out how I wrapped this and some other styles, then click the link or the video in the cards for six different um, headscarf hairstyles that you can do whether you have short hair or long hair, just having a bad hair day just want to hide your hair whatever it is um yeah hopefully that video is helpful for you guys so first let me show you guys all the products that i have so first we have the beauty bakery baking oil for face so this is like our face primer and it looks like this this cute little bottle here has a little pump and it says, baking tips. Gently massage two or three drops onto clean skin. Allow the baking oil to absorb into skin before applying makeup. So it's called Wake and Bake Baking Oil. That is so cute. I might as well go ahead and apply this now since it says give it a little bit of time before moving into makeup. It says two to three drops. I feel like I'm going to need more because I have pretty dry skin. Oh, actually, no, that might have been... The perfect amount. Mmm, smells really good. Kind of like citrusy. So I feel like this is going to be a must because I did hear that these products can be a little on the dry side. And I do have dry skin, so that's why when I was looking at the products, I wanted to make sure I got the baking oil for sure. Ooh, that feels really nice on the skin. Ooh, I like this. Yeah, two to three drops, that's all it took. Oh, I just broke the cap. I, like, there's a little crack now because I twisted it too hard. I'm just too strong. The next thing I picked up was the Beauty Bakery Cake Mix. This is a Demi Matte Foundation. It says vegan, long-lasting, non-acnegenic formula. I've never heard that word before, non-acnegenic acnegenic but it looks like a little cake mix it's in this cute little box and when you open it there's a little mirror well like a fake little mirror and then you have your foundation here your cake mix and there's even like nutrition facts here it says oh my god this is just so stinking cute you guys <laughs> I'm such a sucker for this cute packaging. So the shade I got, I ordered this online because the Ulta's that I went to didn't have any of the foundations like um, available. So I had to get this online, the foundation and concealer. But I got shade number 38, which I really hope matches me. I feel like it might be a tiny bit dark, I don't know. But here we go with our cake mix. So cute. I have the Cake Face Beauty Bakery um, Concealer. And the shade I got is Pro Caffeinating. I also picked up the Beauty Bakery Blending Eggs. This is so cute. It's like an egg carton. Ah. 
and there's nutrition facts on the back. Why am I having a hard time sliding this off? There's nutrition facts. It says great when used wet, complexion smoothing, get those hard to reach areas, durable, reusable, eco-friendly. So check this out. Oh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, there's six. I thought for some reason, I thought there was only gonna be four, but there is six little blending eggs in here. How cute. So we are going to wet these. They kind of just feel, they kind of remind me of um, just right off the bat of the Pure Cosmetics sponges, which I do like. They're a little more dense than a typical beauty blender. But let's see what it's like when we wet this baby. So I'll be right back. Look at how big this egg got. Let's do comparison. This is a dry one and this is the wet one. Ooh, so huge. That's what she said. Okay, so we've got our little blending egg here and it's, this is a dense, sponge like definitely reminds me it's like it reminds me of a mix of the pure cosmetics one like blending sponge and then also kind of a little bit of the flower beauty one maybe even elf cosmetics one i don't know it's just it doesn't remind me of a beauty blender because the texture of a beauty blender or like not texture but the density of a beauty blender is a lot different than this it's um more sturdy I feel like and then of course we have the baking flour which is probably the cutest of all the packaging well I don't know this egg carton is quite adorable but look this is like a little flour flour container thing or not container but like flour bag that there you go flour bag and it's so cute it says beauty bakery better not bitter flour setting powder and then on here it has the nutrition facts they had three different um, flour or setting powders to choose from. Are the dogs barking right now? Um, there was a translucent one, a brown one, and then a yellow one. The translucent one was sold out at the Ulta I went to, which was a bummer. That's the one I wanted to get, but instead I just got yellow. So hopefully that works. I'm, I'm sure I'll be fine. And then let's see what it says here on the back. There's more baking tips. I love this. So I'm not huge on baking, but I do like to set my face so and I typically use a sponge to set like the under eye area so I'm really excited to try this out this packaging I just I'm dying over it so here is what it looks like and um, before we actually jump into um, trying these products I didn't hear or read like the full backstory of this brand but I just read a quick little description while I was shopping at Ulta like on the little stand that they had that the creator of Beauty Bakery um, she actually created this brand after she beat cancer which was amazing but she wanted to create a line of products that was good to use on the skin because of all the chemicals and things like that that could potentially cause cancer um, or could have been the reason she got cancer, whatever it may be. She wanted to create a clean line that was good to use for the skin and because you know our skin is the largest organ on our body and like everything we put on our face and our skin absorbs into our body into our blood streams and everything like that so it's important to use good natural products or um, products that aren't filled with all the nasty chemicals, you know what I mean? So that was just, I just wanted to share that because I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, and then the last thing that I got was this Cotton Candy Champagne Blush Highlighter Palette. Look at how pretty this is. They did have a bronzing palette, but I just, I didn't really see myself using it. The shades were just a little too dark for me and I feel like I would have used just maybe one color out of that whole palette, so I didn't see myself buying it. If they sold bronzers like individually, then I'd consider trying one out. But um, yeah, I, that's why I just went for this blush highlighter palette. So here's a little champagne glass and then you got your cotton candy on top, which is so cute. And then here is what the inside looks like. And I did swatch all of these while I was in Ulta. And honestly, I can see myself wearing all these colors, which is why I decided to purchase this palette. So, okay. That's all the products I have. Now let's go ahead and get into the actual baking. <laughs> this is gonna be so fun. Okay, so the oil is on my face. You guys already saw me apply that. We're going to use the cake mix now and it says to shake it up. What kind of applicator is this? Sponge? Oh, okay. Oh, this is weird. What is this? Did I get a broken one or is that how it is? I haven't, wait. Is this supposed to be a sponge applicator? 
Or is that how it is? It's just this stick. Actually, no, it kind of looks like mine broke. Hold on. Hold a minute. I'm going to watch a tutorial real quick. Do I have a broken one? Because that would be very sad. Pause. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Um, yeah. That's all you have to do, and there's a pump. It's a pump applicator. I twisted it off. Like, I... I left this and I twisted it off. That's why this looks weird. Oh my gosh, I'm so dumb and I had to watch a couple videos to figure that out. Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. So anyways, let's proceed with this video. So I have the foundation here. Again, I have shade number 39. Fingers crossed that this matches me. I'm going to just squeeze this. Okay, there you go, one pump. Oh, this might work. Oh, this might work. This might be a good match. That's actually pretty light coverage for what I was like expecting. Maybe it's because the sponge is wet. Maybe that's why. But I'm going to try and build this to full coverage. Well, it says medium to full coverage, so it is buildable. It smells like kind of flowery. I don't know how to describe it. I'm going to put a little bit over here because I'm having a hard time getting around the nose area. I don't know why I was expecting it to be, I guess, more cake face like, like really full coverage. But this is kind of like regular medium coverage foundation. I can still see my freckles and my redness around my nose. Like I'm kind of having a hard time covering that. But it's not like cake face like I was expecting. I don't know, with a name like cake face, you guys know I like to get a little cake face sometimes, every now and then. So with a name like cake face, I was kind of expecting a little more cake to my face. Okay, let's go on and try the concealer. Hopefully we'll get super cake face with this. Cake face in a good way. And again, the shade I got was called Pro Caffeinating or something like that. Pro Caffeinating. So it's, it did say like work fast. So I feel like this might set pretty quickly. So I wanna, wanna work fast here. I do feel, um, like I can feel that the concealer is a little on the dry side, so that beauty oil was definitely a must when using these products. I think the concealer is okay. My under eyes don't seem as bright as they were like a little while ago. Hold on. Okay, let's do one at a time. See, like that looks like it's going to be good right but as I like continue to blend it oh no I think you just have to be careful not to over blend I think that's the that's the key here because I don't know if you guys can see the difference but this looks a lot brighter and that looks pretty good whoa just wanted to feel my skin real quick. I haven't used any powder or anything, but like that feels really matte and like smooth. Wow. Wow, it doesn't feel like wet and sticky. Like that set into my skin really quickly. So far, I'm not crazy about the coverage. I was expecting a little bit more from both the foundation and concealer. Oh, please don't let me down. I want to love this brand so much because I think it's just so adorable. Come on, products, don't let me down. I look so matte and I haven't even touched the powder yet. I'm a little scared now. <laughs> um, push it right underneath the eyes. I know that they said you can bake with this, but I'm not really one to bake. So I just take the powder, I put it under my eyes, and I just use the same sponge to keep pressing it until it's all blended in. So that was just a little bit of powder, but I felt like that did a good job setting all of the places I normally set. <gasps> I feel like it's oxidizing on my face. 
I just looked in my big mirror and my face looks darker than... Oh my god. I think it was the powder actually. I Because th I'm noticing it just around right here in my nose. I think the powder, the yellow, is too yellow for me. And a little too dark for me. Is that what it is? It doesn't look that dark. What the heck? Something is oxidizing on me. Because that doesn't look... No, that really doesn't look bad. Something is changing on my face. So let's go ahead and add our highlighting blush, which I really love because not only is it a blush that adds color and like life back into your face, but it's like, sh I don't want to say shimmery. Well, it's like kind of shimmery. It's like a highlight as well. Um, so it's going to add that like brightness to your face and um, j just give you that dewiness that I feel like you're going to need when you're this matte. Let's try the 24 hour champagne diet. That's what this color is called. Let's just gently pick that up. Look how pigmented that is. Just brush this onto the cheeks and blend back. You see that shine right there? I think that's so pretty. I like that in a blush. So that is everything from Beauty Bakery that I have. So. My, here's my face right now. I'm going to go ahead and finish up my makeup off camera and then I'll come back here and share with you guys my final thoughts or at least like my final first impression thoughts of what I think of all of these goodies. So I'll see you guys back here in a bit. So I am back with my makeup done and I'm ready to share my first impression thoughts on these products. So let's just go in order. I think that would be best. So here's my face. So what everything's looking like. Should we go close? I don't know if you guys want to be. I don't know if you guys really want to see super close, but here's super close. Okay. So first, let's start with the Wake and Bake baking oil. I actually really, really like this, and a little goes a long way. Just be sure you don't twist it hard like I did because you will snap the cap like I did. I can't believe there's a little crack now. <laughs> Next, we have the Cake Mix, which is the Demi Matte Foundation. And I have to say, I was a little, like underwhelmed with the coverage at first but I think it looks really nice on the skin the matte coverage is it's matte it ain't lying when it says it's matte so with the concealer I do like the subtle like brightness effect that it adds but I don't think it's like amazing the applicator is um, a nice sponge tip applicator but I'm so used to like fat applicators now so this is like it feels so itty bitty but I think this is a good concealer but I don't think it's amazing I'll still use it yeah because it is good but I don't think it's again I don't think it's amazing it's nothing like Tarte Shape Tape or Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer it's nothing like those I don't think these are terrible I just don't I don't think they're amazing that, that's that's such a wishy-washy review or like statement, but I just, I don't know how to describe it. I'm not going to rave about these, but I'm not going to diss them either. The powder, the packaging was my favorite in the powder, but I think this color is terrible for me. I was liking my makeup until I set everything. Once I set everything and I went off camera, I was really able to see how bad and like how off this yellow color is which is weird because in the little container and when I swatch it on my hand it looks totally fine it looks light enough to work for my skin tone um, and it just has like that yellow undertone which should complement my skin tone but it definitely did not um, I don't know it might be hard to pick up on camera but when I'm able to look in my, my big beauty mirror and I'm able to like see my face fully I can see that it's around my under eye and nose and forehead which is exactly where I put the powder it looks splotchy and it looks way too dark for me this powder I don't like I'm so sad I might return it no before I return it I'm gonna try it out a couple more times but as a first impression I don't like it I would have loved to try the translucent powder but even then why is it splotchy like Especially around here, like around my forehead area, it's really splotchy looking. The 
beauty eggs I think are super cute blending eggs I forgot how much these were off the top of my head but you get one two three four five but you get six of these beauty eggs which I think is super awesome um, again I don't remember the price off the top of my head but I know one beauty blender sponge is like 20 bucks I'm gonna keep playing around with this um, blending sponge but just as a first impression it wasn't a favorite of mine I felt like in some areas it wasn't it like I don't know how to explain it it like applies nicely but then if you like go over it too much with this sponge it like wipes it away and then it kind of just like makes the product start to disappear I think it like soaks it back up or something I don't I don't really know that's why I feel like I need to keep playing around with this but that was just my first impression right off the bat with this is that um, I felt like it wasn't it would blend the product nicely but then start taking away the product and I don't really find that with other sponges that I use so just this one and then lastly the blush highlighter palette the cotton candy champagne this I was super excited about and although I know I only tried one shade I tried the lightest and brightest shade in here which this makes me sad for what I'm about to say. I tried the lightest and brightest shade in here. Well, this looks kind of light, but this is like the brightest shade. And it actually, I feel like it made my skin look a little ashy and like dull. I have that shine. That shine is beautiful. So that's like the little highlight part. But when you look closely, like the color looks very dull and ashy on my skin. These other three shades are a little bit darker so if this bright one is already making my skin look dull, I can only imagine these three. So that's why I'm like a little nervous about that. Oh, that's such a bummer. Overall, I feel like this was such a so-so first impression. Nothing really wowed me. I'm so sad. I really wanted to like fall in love with this brand. I wanted to be obsessed with this brand because, I mean, look at the packaging. It's so freaking adorable and the like cake mix and... It's just so cute, but it goes to show that packaging isn't everything. So anyways, that's going to be it for this first impression review of the Beauty Bakery goodies that I got in my Ulta haul. If you have tried this brand or any products from this brand, let me know your experience in the comments below. Was it the same as mine? Let me know. And if there's any other brands you guys would like me to do first impressions on like this, be sure to let me know in the comments below. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Ew. Zoe is licking her peck pecs.